So, check this out, people. AMC investors from the beginning when this whole MOAS nonsense started have been fighting hedge funds. They've been fighting Ken Griffin. They've been fighting Citadel, right? They've been fighting the market makers constantly on YouTube complaining about how hedge funds and how Citadel is stealing from them. Now, the fact is that these people bought into a failing company, a failing stock. You cannot blame anyone because you bought into a lousy company like AMC, GME, Mullen, and all of these other failing companies who, when they begin to dwindle, when they start to tumble, they go to these creditors to borrow money at high interest rates, and then when they cannot pay before the deadline, these companies seek for their monies in return. And then these companies or these investors who invest into these Bullshit companies want to complain that these stocks are being shorted, that these companies are being manipulated and taken advantage of. The fact is that when AMC went to its creditors to borrow money against their debt, they went in there knowing that they had a deadline to pay before the creditors came knocking on their door. And who do they go to borrow money from? Do they go to banks or do they go to distressed creditors? Do they go to these hedge funds to borrow money from? And then when the distressed creditors come to collect, people start to bitch, moan, and complain that their stock, the stock that they bought into, not because they did their due diligence, not because they did the research, but because they went on to YouTube and listened to people like Trace Trades, TMI, The Review Dork, Short The Vix, Thomas James, and these other scumbags who continue to pump this bullshit and continue to get their monies through ad revenue, through sponsorship, and through Patreon. And these types of platforms where the very same people who are being scammed, according to them, by hedge funds and Citadel, are being scammed instead by these YouTubers that they're following. And they want to blame everyone else but themselves and the people they watch. Perfect example. Why can't I take a, an AMC pump up seriously? Why can't I take someone like Morant's rant seriously when the very first thing out of you people's mouths when you start your video is? This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos, I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. And then it gives a false narrative. The market so we can make bad trading decisions for entertainment, educational purposes only. For entertainment, educational purposes only. For entertainment, educational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only. Nice for entertainment, nice for entertainment, nice for entertainment. Then you wonder why the SEC, the FBI, lawyers, and everyone else that you want to be on your side, stand by you, don't have any respect for you people, because you people are fucking idiots. You go on YouTube with this stupid disclaimer that you're here to entertain people and yet you want to be taken seriously. And yet you want the SEC to stand by your side when they watch all of your videos. The ver very first thing you say is, I'm a fucking clown. 
I put on tap shoes for my viewers and I entertain them. Don't take anything I say seriously. And yet you want the SEC to take you seriously when they watch your stupid ass videos on YouTube when you complain. Let me ask you idiots a fucking question. When honest people who want someone to protect their assets, when they go to a lawyer and they speak to the lawyer because they want to sue or they want to be defended or whatever the case may be, do they go to the lawyer and say, listen, I'm here for entertainment purposes only? Or do they tell the lawyer exactly what they need, what they want, and why they are there for? Why is it that you people who bitch, moan, and complain about AMC, if you're sincere, if you're honest about the things you are saying, why not just say it? Why not just say, listen, I am here on YouTube because I'm here to complain about the SEC. I'm here to complain about Citadel, hedge funds. Instead, you say, I am here to entertain you. You want to be entertained, people? Lose your money. You want to be entertained? You want to continue to be entertained? Keep listening to Do George Donahue. Keep listening to this other idiot, Thomas James, who doesn't go away. Keep listening to Morant's rant, who's been pumping GME for the past three years almost. And it's never going to the moon. It's never going to Moaz. But yet, he continues to pump this bullshit because his career is YouTube. And since YouTube pays his salary, YouTube pays his salary. This is why he made a video begging YouTube not to demonetize him. The only reason people go on YouTube with a disclaimer is so that they don't get sued or so that they don't lose their channels by putting up nonsense and bullshit. None of you people can be taken seriously. None of you, not Donna you George, not Phil For Real, not Thomas James, not Morant's Rants, not me, Kevin, not Short the Vix, who deleted all of his AMC videos, including recently Phil For Real, who deleted a bunch of his live streams concerning AMC. Go on his channel and all you see is a lot of bullshit videos, music videos, because he's going back to doing what he does best. And it's not pumping AMC. And then you people wonder why you can't be taken seriously. Then you people wonder why nobody respects you. People laugh at you. I laugh at you. You people are a fucking joke. All of you people who go on YouTube and want to be defended, want to be protected, you want the SEC, the FBI, the CIA, the, the fucking FT, whatever. You want all of these people to come to your side. You want all of these people to aid you in the fight against hedge funds, against Citadel. But the very first thing you tell these people is that your YouTube channel is simply here to entertain people and nothing more. This is why you fucking people are a bunch of losers, a bunch of scumbags, a bunch of scammers. You're here to sell your merchandise, the majority of you. You're here to promote your channels. You're here for the ad revenue. And this is why the majority of these people who once held out to AMC, sold their AMC shares at a huge loss, the majority of them, except for short the VIX, review door, trades, trades, and a bunch of other people, the Kansas Five, who sold AMC at the top while telling everyone else to hold. And you, can't help, you cannot hold them liable because they told you from the beginning, just like you tell everyone else, that they were here and are here for entertainment purposes only. And you follow them, you listen to them, after they gave you their disclaimer, saying that they were here to entertain you, then they said, buy AMC, hold AMC, don't sell, we're going to the moon, this stock is going to Moaz, and you believed it. 
and they sold at the top while telling you to hold. You believed it, but they told you from the beginning that they were here to entertain you. So guess what, people? You've been entertained. This is their financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. This is their financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. for entertainment educational purposes only. for entertainment advice for entertainment advice for entertainment. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to hear my trading and market updates. This is Uncle Frank, and I'm not a financial advisor, nor is any of the content to be construed as financial advice. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. Hey, what's up? Welcome to DGen Ed. That's degenerative education, meaning none of this is financial advice. Just me having fun looking at charts, like the chart behind me, which is of AMC Entertainment, ticker symbol AMC. Just me having fun looking at charts. 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 